morning you guys or whatever time it is wherever you are so today I'm off for another exciting day of filming drywall which for me is about as exciting as watching paint dry but hopefully you guys are getting something out of this I kind of blew it on filming the job yesterday I was doing like a Columbia Tomahawk review and I just kind of like fizzled out halfway through the day had no mojo so we'll see if we can get that going today I'll show you what stage we're at Everything's first coated basically, but it's time for me to drive in. It's like 8 a.m. right now. I wake up early, but I don't like to get to work too early. And fortunately, we are going against traffic, so that's nice. Well, that wasn't so bad. It was about 50 minutes, five zero. So didn't hit any traffic. Cause like I said, I live way west and this job's way east. Most people in the trades live east and come west. So it tends to be uh, a lot more traffic going the other way. Anyways, I gotta get in and see what we're doing on this job. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. So we got this wall I skimmed yesterday. You can clearly see it's got some dark spots on it still. And there was even something that needed to be skimmed down there. Got the ceiling. Did that yesterday. It's mostly good. But because I was using a 32 inch blade to skim it, the low spots didn't get filled in here or there. And then it would also take a little too much off the high spots. So I'm gonna have to fix those by hand today. But overall looking pretty good. Not too much stuff like this. The bulk of the surface wound up really good, as you can kind of see. Got these walls over here, these are dry. Did those a couple days ago. And some corner beads that I only coated yesterday. This wall only coated yesterday, so you can see it's still got some big wet spots. Got the hallway in here, just coated yesterday. So this ceiling is mostly dry. I'll probably just leave it today. We got some new stuff to fix here from these doors that got installed. And we got this bathroom, which has been coated, that I am going to sand and coat today. So today's going to be tying up a lot of loose ends. Okay, first order of the day is to sand these walls and the bathroom. Now I gotta say, having this thing, like normally when you have to sand drywall, you're like, oh god, I have to sand drywall. And like, with this, I'm actually like, all right, time to sand drywall. So let's get this light set up so we can really see what it's doing and I'll show you guys how nice this thing is to use. As we can see, there's lots to sand here, but I don't actually need this light here on. much you guys can see there's definitely some lines and some grooves there from the sander but I had the suction on much too high so let's try the next wall all right you guys I'm about to drop a little knowledge bomb on you here so sometimes you have to coat both sides at the same time so like in this one because I have to repair this bottom damage of the wall here from the crown molding and I have to skim the ceiling these both need two coats and I don't have time to um, wait for it to dry. So here's where sequencing comes in. All right, when I was here last time, what I did was I did the wall or I did the ceiling first and then I did the walls. So what I'm gonna do this time is I'm going to do the wall first and then the ceiling. Now the reason this matters and what it does is last time because I did the wall second, I left a groove in the ceiling. So this time, I'm gonna do the wall first and I won't actually leave a groove in the ceiling because there isn't a groove there. But it's just one of those little sequencing tricks that will help you get crisper corners. 
drywall knowledge bombs. And once I finish this bathroom, then I'm gonna have a coffee break. And as usual, it's bubbling like crazy. Why would I expect any less? You may notice that when I have intersections like this, I often like to do them both at the same time because it helps me not damage the other corner. Getting close, almost done in here. Soon I can have my coffee. Oh, yeah, bubbling like crazy. Huh, what's going on in here? <laughs> Little filming. <laughs> can you see those bubbles there? So bad. The only thing you can do about those is skim it out like this. And then you gotta skim really hard to try and get rid of them. And then you gotta skim it again to actually leave a little material on there. Because even though it looks so nice and flat like that, once I start sanding it, it's not going to look so good after you paint it. You got to leave a little material on for sanding. <sighs> so yeah, these ones can be arm killers, shoulder killers. And I'm doing my best to not get into the corner. So I'm like trying to stay out like one eighth on my finish pass. I can bring some mud into that corner, but right now, in order to not get a big blob over the edge and onto my nicely uh, skimmed out, feathered out corners, the wall area, I should say, I'm trying to not go right into the corner yet. All right, I think it's time to turn the camera off, you guys. You can only watch so much of this. I'd rather you stay watching the video instead of take off. So as you can see, it's looking pretty darn smooth. Not too many imperfections there and what there is is gonna sand out. The texture on the ceiling is long gone. Back corners are looking good. And to contradict myself, once I got into this back corner way back here, I actually stop skimming it out super tight and then doing it a second time. Reason is, it's the back corner of the bathroom with the pot light shining down. You're never gonna see an imperfection there if there is any. Now I can have coffee. Whew. All right, coffee break is done. And I also took a little time to coat all of these loose ends up here. So you remember all that horrible weird damage that was there from the crown molding. So that's fixed, all that stuff is coated. It'll need two coats. We got all that crazy damage that was down there, it's coated. But now I need to deal with the spots that didn't get coated well enough when I was using the Tomahawk. So we have the lows that didn't get filled in. And then we also have anywhere you can see the texture a little bit too much. So on this spot over here, I tried sanding it a little bit, but the problem is, you can see I'm going right back down to the texture again. So it's not a big job, and it doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to have a little bit more mud than is on it. So, pretty quick and simple, really. Feather them edges. Feather that like button. It's kind of just like doing a real quick patch. So now, when I go and actually sand that, it's not going to be so empty. And I'm sure you guys can't actually see this one, but this was the one that was really nasty. It's just, you know, there's a difference between being able to see me on camera and being able to see the details of the drywall. Two different kinds of lighting and focus. Ah, 
that'll be good enough to sand down for tomorrow. And I think it's about time we segue into a little montage. Okay, well we are done for the day. Well, I am, I don't know what you're up to. Anyways, yeah, that, um, that 18 inch Columbia Tomahawk is really nice. I do wish I had a 24, but um, I used the 32 last time. The 20, what the heck, my brain's not working. I'm hungry. The 18 inch worked really nice. Let's take a look at this wall. All right, so it's gonna be hard to see. It's always hard to see this, but you know, we got some little lift offs here, but yeah, rolling it on and then squeegeeing it off with that thing makes for really nice walls. We got a few high spots here that I'm gonna put a little more mud on tomorrow by hand when it's dry, but overall, yeah, it's looking really good. Those high spots are the old texture coming through if you're wondering. And there was this wall that was, you know, all over the place. Yeah, it's looking nice and smooth. I think I'm gonna do the 18 inch one on the ceiling tomorrow. Well, that's it for the day. Time for the drive home. Hopefully it's not too bad. And it is a gorgeous day out here. It's actually like hot, which is real nice for Vancouver in April. Anyways, hopefully I get some skating in tonight. I gotta get in there early tomorrow to make sure everything gets coated and all the little issues get dealt with. But yeah, I wanna say don't forget to feather that edge and feather that like button. If you haven't subscribed, consider it. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you're doing well out there. Till the next one.